What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, I'm gonna answer a question from one of my subscriber and his question is like this one. Um, boss, his name is Pramot. So he is referencing my last video about how to set up a project using Scopebox. So he's asking, boss, can you explain how to rotate and align the scope box for inclined angle project thank you all right so this is this is how i do it so hopefully uh, i understand your question with this answer that i'm going to give you so let's say for example i'm gonna create a new project here so i'll just use an architectural template so since i'm gonna create here an architectural model just a sample architectural model nothing fancy so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the wall tool here and let's say for example um, this is the shape of my building so promote is saying that the the model is somewhat inclined angle so let's say here's my wall here let me just make it uh, chain all right like this and then after that I'm going to create like a 45 degrees wall here and then another wall here okay just like that and then I'm gonna pick here and then connect here right so let's say for example um, you want to work on this area here okay so this area so let's say you want to have a two area for this model okay so you want to have this uh, first area this one and then you have you want to have another area like this okay or if you want so let's say uh, let me just create another model here so let's say this is another one this is another one and this one okay so basically what I want to do I want to set up this project uh, by uh, placing three views okay so I want to create three views for this so one view for this uh, area here and then one view for this area here and then another view for this one okay now to set up the project that uh, like what I did last time I'm gonna use a section box here so I'm gonna go to the view tab and then I'm going to select scope box so remember just like what I have said earlier scope box is a 3d Okay, so it's a 3D one, so it's not a 2D. So a scope box is 3D. So I'm gonna select the scope box here. Okay, and then let's say I'm gonna set up this one first. So I'm going to create one like this. And then as you can see, there's an icon here wherein you can rotate your scope box. Okay, you can rotate it like that manually. Or if you want, you can use the rotate tool. So you can click the scope box and then you can select here, rotate. So if you know the angle, so let's say this one is 45 degrees. So I'm going to rotate that 45 degrees like that. So 45, enter. And then I'll just uh, uh, move my scope box like that. And then I'm going to make sure that on the elevation view, it covers the whole model. Okay, not only on the top view, but also on the elevation view or in the 3D view. I want to adjust the height of my scope box to cover up this whole area here. So to do that, I'm going to select the scope box and then I'm going to select here the selection box tool. And there you go. So there's my scope box. So as I can see here, so my 3D model is all uh, covered up like that. Okay. Now, so let me just go back again to level zero. Again, you can click the scope box here and then you can change the name. So let's say you can call that uh, area A and then enter. Okay, so that's for my area A. So let's say, for example, I want to work, I want to set up a view for this one here. So I'm going to select again the scope box. Again, just create the scope box and then just rotate it or all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this one here. Just copy that. All right, and then you can see if you click the scope box, the name here is not area B, but uh, scope box 3. So I'm going to rename that to area B. There you go. 
So this one is area A, this one is area B. Okay, so I'm gonna edit the range of my area B here. So let's say uh, something like this, okay? So I hope you get the idea, guys. So like that. So I wanna work on that area. And then for my last uh, view setup, so I'm gonna select scope box. And then make sure the name here is uh, area C. Oops. Enter. And then I'm gonna create the view here. This one. Okay. Like that. Just adjust. All right. So hopefully you guys get the idea. And then I'll just select here modify. Okay. Then after that, the next thing that we will be doing is I'm gonna create a duplicate view for this one. So this is my overall uh, view. So let me just rename this. I'll just put overall level zero or whatever the name of that view is and then you can right click that just duplicate it as a dependent i'm gonna duplicate it three times okay right click all right and then this one is my uh area a okay and then this one is uh area b and then this one is area C. And there you go. Okay, so like what I did last time, so let's open up the area A and then go to the properties and then let's change the setup here. So instead of none for the scope box, so change that to area A. Click that and then apply. And there you go. So automatically Revit will um, orient your view horizontally even if your uh, project is inclined to an angle so once you place the scope box Revit will automatically place that into a horizontal uh, location that will let you model it uh, nicely okay so that is the reason why I also prefer the the scope box to set up the project and then after that, of course, we want to make this a tidy. So I'm going to hide this scope box that is showing here. So let's right click that and then let's hide that one. And maybe I want to change, let's say, the scale to 1 is to 50. And I want to hide this one. So I'll just right click that and then hide that. All right. Okay, and for my detail level, I'll just set it to fine. For the visual style, I'll just set it to shaded. That's it for this one. And then after that, after I set up this view, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a view template from this view so I can apply that to my area B and area C, this setup. So I'm going to right-click this. Um, I'm going to select here, create view template from view. Okay, and then this is for my uh, floor or area, floor or just floor plan will do. Floor plan setup. Okay, and then there you go. So I'll just select your okay. And now let's go to the area B, and then I'm gonna make sure here this one is. Uh, scope box B select the area B apply and that's it okay so that's my area B and then now for this one what I want is I want this to be to, to this view to be rotated on 90 degrees I want that I don't want that vertical orientation uh, because I remember I copied this one so what I'm gonna do I'll just delete this one and then I will just create another scope box here for the area B. So that's for my uh, area B. And then after that, I click this one. I will rotate this uh, 45 degrees or whatever angle is that. Okay. So try to modify the scope box. And then after that, let's go open up the area B. And then make sure this is set to area B. Oops, this one, scope box, area B, and then apply. There you go. So that's the orientation that I want. 
And then I'm just going to apply here the view template that I have created a while ago. So I'll click the view template here. I'm going to select the floor plan setup view template and I'll just select here. OK. All right. And then I don't want to use show this uh, elements just like that. OK. And then same with our uh, area C. So double click the area C and then go to properties. You can apply the view template like that. And then the scope box, just change that to area C and then apply. And there you go. Okay, let me just hide this three elements. Right click, hide in view elements. And there you have it. So we just created our uh, project, project that contains uh, angled or inclined uh, angle area of the project using the scope box. So this is now how it looks like. All right. So you will now be able to model it nicely without moving your head to a different angle. Okay. Because you already set it up nicely like this. Okay. So hopefully this answer your question from both. And thank you guys for watching. And hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.